so for my lunar settings, we'll start off with waypoints. I don't have any. For settings, these are pretty much all of them. If you want to pause, you can. And controls. The only thing I think I've changed here is emote wheel to a V. And then for mods, here are all of the mods. So replay mod off fix 1.7 visuals. I have all these on except for uh, 1.8 use item while digging. If you have this on, it'll slow down the how fast you like break something, which can be a big like disadvantage. Hit armor color. A lot of people have asked me about this. Um, it's basically just like the white, but I have it turned down all the way. So I think it looks really clean. For FPS, I have that off. CPS, um, these are just basically the settings for them. Skyblock Atoms, off. Toggle Sneak Slash Sprint, this is basically default. Zoom, um, I have that on. High Pixel Mods, these are them. Armor Status, you can copy them. And Keystrokes, off. Coordinates, on. So the way I just have this one coordinate, is for the X and Z one. I just turned it all the way down to make it transparent. And for day counter, I have that off. Crosshair, a lot of people have asked me about this. You wanna enable dot and copy these settings right here and turn this style to cross. Potion effects, I think these are all default. And direction HUD off, waypoints off, scoreboard. All right, well, that's wonderful. All right, so to scoreboard, we have uh, high numbers and text shadow on. I really like it because it just looks ugly with it off. And yeah. Potion counter off. Ping on. I have it down here. Really nice. Motion blur off. Chat on. I turned background opacity opacity to a zero. I think it looks clean. It makes it transparent. Name tags. I turned that on. And here are all the settings for it. Scrollable tooltips. Have that on. Don't really know what that does. And then particle multiplier. I have that on one and then all these other things are turned on time changer i have that on and i depending on the pack i use i like having it i can just change it around item physics i have on this doesn't really matter for block outline these are my settings and screenshot uploader i have that on and free look i have this on if you want to see these settings menu blur uh this is these settings and yeah, that's pretty much all it for all my lunar settings. All right, so for my Minecraft settings, I use ADFOV, music and sounds. You guys can just copy each one of these. And for my controls, um, these are all of them. You guys can just pause them if you want to. I, I've continued to add more and more hotkeys, which makes it easier, as you guys can like see. Um, one, two, three, four, five is Q. 6 is X. Um, this is a side of my mouse button. F and then button 4 is another mouse side button. I might do a pack folder release in the future, but I have a lot of them, so I'm not going to go through them now. And then video settings. You guys can just pause this and copy these. And I'll just go through the rest of these if you want to uh, copy them. Basically, all these are just on except for... White particles, firework particles, explosion animated. This basically means whenever you like use TNT or fireballs, it doesn't really have an animation, which I think is cool. Smoke animated, also off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then for other, here are all the settings. Performance, here are all the settings. And for quality, here are all these settings. All right, so uh, pretty much for my sources, I have game capture and display capture. I don't really use display capture that much, but I'm only using it for this video. Um, game capture just basically captures your game and nothing else. And so most of the time when you start up OBS, you will have this. And if your recordings are laggy, one thing you can do is right click it and disable enable preview. And it'll really help with your CPU usage. Um, and then for settings, here are my general settings. They're pretty much default. And then stream, nothing really important. So for recording or output, this is the most important section. You want your output mode to be advanced and type standard recording path. That's whatever you want. Generate file name without space. Keep that off. Recording format, this is really important. Have that as MP4. Encoder, this depends on your GPU. 
but most of you guys would have an NVIDIA NVENC H264 new. Make sure it's on the new one, um, it just works better. And then the Risco Alpha I have is 1920 by 1080p and you can go higher or lower but I like to record at that, um, it looks really nice. And then rate control, I like to use CQP, for me it works best. And I have that on 15. If it looks good, keep it at 15. And if it's a little laggy or looks a little messed up, then you can always go higher and it'll um, look better or run better basically. So keyframe interval, have that on zero, preset, max performance, profile, baseline, look ahead, off, cycle, psycho visual tuning, have that on. GPU, zero, max B frames, zero. And for audio, this is basically all your stuff. Nothing really to worry about there. And then here for video, my base canvas, this is your the size of your monitor. So most of you guys would have a 1080p monitor. So just select the size your monitor is. And then output scaled resolution is 1920 by 1080. That's what the resolution will be when you record. I think this works, works best because um, the file size isn't too big since I'm only recording in 1080p. But it still looks really good, so that's nice. Downscale filter is bilinear, fastest, but blurry is scaling. Um, it doesn't really get blurry, I think it just makes it run faster and looks even better. Fractional FPS value, you want to go to this if you record above 60 FPS. Um, so always have your denominator on 1. Enumerated, I would recommend having around 120. If it's laggy at 120, then make sure to go down to 60. Um, and it should look really good. Hotkeys, this is just whatever you want. I have my start recording and stop recording on. It just makes it easier for me. And advanced settings, general, process priority, below normal. This is really helpful and you can copy these. So that's pretty much all of my OBS settings.